Hey guys, welcome back to Gear Junkies TV and a new video. Today we're going to take a look and listen to the More 4 AP1 Analog Plectrum Eurorack module. The More 4 Analog Plectrum, also called AP1, is a 10 HP wide fully analog Eurorack module that can produce string-like sounds. It can be used for generating bass, acoustic guitar, percussion and other sounds. The module is based on the car plus strong principle with a complete analog audio path built in with an authentic bucket regrade delay circuit. In addition, Morpho sent us the VCF multimode filter module, which is an HP wide analog filter. But first, you can stay informed about all our videos by subscribing to our channel. Just click the subscribe button below the video and you can hit the bell button to get notifications when there's something new on our channel. The Carpola Strong principle is often found in digital form in software synths as well as in Eurorack modules. It is nice to see uh, Morpho found a way to build it with analog components. Let's find out how this works by using this block diagram. Here we can see that there is a noise pulse generator. This uh, signal goes into a bucket brigade delay, which is controlled with a high speed VCO. So this results in a very short delay that goes into a color filter and uh, back into the bucket brigade delay via feedback for another pass through the delay. Then um, the signal gets sent to the output. Let's take a look at the module itself and uh, its functions. So over here we can see we have um, the tuning knob and then there's the um, attenuator for the CV for the tuning. There's a feedback knob here, a uh, color which controls the filter and it has its own uh, attenuator. And then here are the various connections. Let's uh, take a look at them first. The trigger. To plug uh, the string, you uh, have to uh, in insert a trigger pulse. Short triggers uh, work fine, but you can play around with longer pulses to get more experimental sounds. Then there is the 1 volt per octave pitch control voltage input. And uh, as said, there's a tune knob. And this control is between 15 Hz and 800 Hz. Then there's the linear frequency control voltage input. It can be used for frequency modulation, for example, and the control voltage uh, can be attenuated using the control knob here. Then on this side, we have the feedback. This is the level of the Carpenter Strong feedback loop. With this, you can set a short or longer sustain. The color uh, controls the cutoff frequency of the internal single pole uh, low pass filter. Turning left makes it sound darker and to the right it becomes brighter. Then there's the CV color input, linear uh, cutoff frequency control. The control voltage supplied can be attenuated using the control knob to control the filter. Then uh, we have this circuit here which is called the strong loop extender. When you use the switch here and set it to external, the um, car plus strong uh, audio out uh, goes into any external module that you have there and it returns the process signal here into the module again. It bypasses the internal low pass filter that way. And uh, you can um, use any external signal you want to, um, to experiment with. But in this case, we will use the VCF multimode filter here to have a different kind of filter setting than uh, the one built in, into the AP1. And finally, we have the uh, output here, which outputs at a 10 volt modular signal. I will now connect the module to my uh, Oxy sequencer and feed it with a pitch value and a trigger. And in addition, I have connected a CV source to the CV input here to have some FM modulation. And finally, there's also um, modulation going into the CV input of the filter. Let's listen to how all that sounds.
Now, with the help of the very nice auto module we got from Morphor, uh, we'll make some different sounds by placing it in the loop and switch the AP1 to external. By the way, if you leave it to internal, the input of the loop will be mixed with the internal signal and will give some interesting effects as well. The Morphor uh, VCF Multimode is a fully analog 8 HP filter module, featuring a dedicated low pass and high pass filter core. Both filter sections have uh, cut off frequency control over the whole frequency range through a knob and bipolar CV. Additionally, a resonance control and a switchable pole selection are available on the top. The second output acts as uh, both a bandpass and highpass output, depending on the position of the H bandpass highpass mixing knob here. Let's listen to the sound with the filter added. I've built a small uh, patch on the modular system with the uh, AP1, uh, the VCF multimode filter controlled by uh, an oxy sequencer and the two LFOs uh, of the oxy are beat synced and then are sending out CV signals to the CV inputs of the AP1 and in this case also CV to the control of the multimode filter. The signal of the AP1 is uh, of course routed through the VCF module and also the extra output of the filter is used and we will hear that on a separate channel. They both go to a mixer and in two additional channels I've added a kick and a bass line. Let's uh, listen and experience what uh, changing the LFO speeds uh, does to the rhythm.
So, what do we think of the Morpho AP1? It's a very nice idea to build the car plus strong algorithm with analog components and it worked out well. The AP1 sounds very different from the digital modules that I know and in a good sense. The sound has a substance and the pitch changes happen in a natural sounding way. Not only can it be used to emulate a bass string, but with shorter decays and faster triggers it also works very well as a percussive module, resembling the sound of uh, bongos or congas. It's very nice that you can uh, route the signal through an external loop where a filter works great. The VCF filter module by Morpho is therefore an excellent companion. Uh, slight trigger delays can be experienced in certain settings since this is an all analog delay circuit where the signal runs through. And the trigger signal is quite delicate. Longer triggers give a more noisy sound. Overall, it's a very nice approach and a very good option if you are looking for a string-like plucked sound to add to your modular system. Well, that's all for today. We hope you enjoyed the video and if you did, please give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you next time.